Hi everybody, so today I'm going to do a review of the NIV Faith Life Illustrated Study Bible. So this one is done by the makers of Logos Bible Software, so if you're familiar with that. This one's the NIV, it's lay flat. This is also available in the New King James, so if you prefer the New King James, you're in luck, because they also offer it in the New King James. So I'm going to hold that right there in case you'd like to pause and read that. And then here on our features, there's over a hundred full color infographs, timelines and tables, 27 family trees, three very detailed life of Jesus timelines, which are awesome. So we're going to have book introductions, verse by verse study notes. There's a small example of what it's going to look like on the inside and an example of the text. This one is the gray turquoise leather soft. Here's our ISBN number, retail is $89.99. You can definitely find it for less online and there will be a link in the description box. So it comes in a nice clamshell box, so very nice packaging. This one here measures out at nine and five eighths inches tall by six and five eighths inches wide and it is an inch and three quarters thick. So we can see we've got really pretty silver gilding. We've got our thumb indexing. So these are black with the silver lettering gray head and tail bands and this leather soft is really really pretty so you can see that and it is very kind of has a really nice texture and you don't feel at all like you're going to drop it but really pretty with all of that stitching on there on our spine we've got holy bible niv and zondervan and then the back section is gray but a really pretty cover there's quite a few different cover options as well so we're going to have a paper paste down liner, presentation page with the psalm down at the bottom. And this is full color and it's just going to be an awesome Bible. And one thing we can see right there, right out of the box, it lays totally flat for you. So this one here, of course, is going to be the 2011 version of the NIV. We're going to have all of our table of contents, all the visual content, so it'll give us the event lines, all the infographics, all the different timelines and diagrams and everything. So if you see one and you want to go back to it, you can always come and find it. We're going to have the table of contents on all the articles. So it's got a lot of good articles. We're going to have the books of the Bible. We'll have a preface. And then a preface to the translation. And then we've got a how to study the Bible. So this is all really good information on here. So you definitely want to check that out if you get one. So it's going to start off with a broad timeline of biblical history. So I'll give you a close up so you can kind of see how that is done. So this is really neat. Now we're going to get into the Old Testament. I like the way that they've done the three shades of green there. So we're going to have the formation of the Old Testament. So it'll have early Old Testament collections and references to them in the canon. One thing we can kind of see here in the gutter is the stitching. So nice sewn binding, which is really important, especially on a thick study Bible like this. So we'll have information on the Pentateuch. Then we're going to get into the introduction to Genesis. So we'll have the background and structure. We've got a little map at the bottom. We're going to have dates relating to Genesis, outlines, and themes. So each book of the Bible is going to have that. And then we get into the biblical text itself. So we've got a double column format. So we can see up top there. I like the shade of blue that they use there, which is really nice. And then double column format on the notes. It is separated by the green line on there. So our font size is going to be a nine point font and then a seven point font on our notes. We're going to have quite a few Hebrew and Greek word studies scattered about, which is really nice. And then this is one drawing here that this is really neat. So I think that one that is really cool. So there's tons of stuff in this one that I've never seen in any other Bible. So then we're going to have the days of creation 
across the bottom and this is just really fascinating another word study then we've got the rest of the days and so I want to find a section that's got where I can get you up closer to the text all right so there is our font so again that is going to be a nine point font so very readable and even though the notes are a seven point they're actually really readable they read a lot better than what a seven typically would so one thing that's kind of neat is you're going to have all your notes and then there will be little smaller studies like that one's on the nephilim and then lots of artist renditions so that's Noah's Ark there but it makes it really clear and easy to see the biblical text and the way that they've got it separated and then this different color on here is just it's really easy on the eyes so I'm just going to flip through this give you some examples of what you're going to see in this one because it really is an awesome Bible and definitely worth getting whether or not you like the NIV or the New King James all right so on here so we've got the Tower of Babel and one thing that they do in here is they give us size comparisons so they give us size comparisons on things based on an example of what we would know the size of so we've got an American football field so then we've got the Tower of Babel and then they've got it with the pyramid so it gives us a really good idea of size so I really think the way that they do that is neat because otherwise if they just had dimensions it's going to be a little bit harder for us in our minds to wrap our head around it but when we see it next to a football field it makes it a lot easier so here is one of the 27 family trees so I like the way that they do them with the little people on there makes it a lot easier than just having just a chart with just the names I think a lot of people like the visuals on it so we've got the Egyptian chariots the ancient altars and then they have a little man standing there so it kind of gives you an idea of the size next to a person and then they've got a person up top on there so the different artwork and the drawings and stuff that they've got in this is really really neat So here we've got the furnishings of the tabernacle. It kind of tells us how everything was placed. And then here's the how it was all set up. And so they do give us another example next to a football field so you get a good idea of the size of that. Because they did have to pack this up and take it with them. So that had to have been a lot of work then we've got the encampment and it shows a tabernacle and how they were all structured around there so it's got the arrangements of all the camps so a lot of the stuff that is in this one I've never seen it in another study Bible and so it's definitely worth getting so we've got one ribbon just a single satin but it's always nice to have a ribbon so we're going to have a chart on the altars in the Old Testament We've got an artist's rendition of the Ark of the Covenant. And I think it was really neat of them to, to put like an outline of a person on there so that it gives us a good idea of the size. Got a nice chart on the covenants in the Old Testament. Then we've got Solomon's Temple. Again, they show it to us next to a football field so we can see an approximate of the size. And then they give us cutaway views so all of these like if you bought it just for all of this additional information it's absolutely worth it and we're going to have the most holy place we've got the royal seals of judah so it gives all the different seals and what those would have looked like just loaded with tons of awesome stuff We've got Solomon's bronze altar and then it's got the little guy on there so gives you a good idea of the size of it We've got the Cyrus cylinder gives us information on that but this just has some of the neatest stuff in it 
Then we've got a wine press in ancient Israel. Shows the grapes and the vats and everything. So I think that's pretty neat. And we've got Ezekiel's temple. Shows what that would have looked like. And then they've got that there next to an American football field. So you can see how big that is. I mean, that's really big. Some of those places and the things that they built back then are just phenomenal, especially with not having any modern technology that we have now. And we can't recreate it that good. So now we're going to get into the New Testament. So we've got the formation of the New Testament. So that's going to be a few pages. We'll have the Synoptic Gospels and Acts. And then we get into the introduction to Matthew. And this is one of the three timelines on Jesus. And these are really neat. And then scattered throughout, we're going to have a bunch of like people profiles. So we've got Herod the Great and the Magi. And then there's a close-up of the shade of blue that is used in this. But this timeline here, I'll just pan across this so you can kind of see it. These timelines on Jesus' life and ministry are just awesome. And there's three of them in this. So it goes all the way, just does a full span. And I have not seen this in any other Bible. So this has tons of unique stuff in it. And so it is still going. And this is just one of the three. So you can see how neat that is. And it's still going. So just awesome. The font, it's super easy to read. I love the shade of the blue and then the way that they've done the notes in the bottom. Here we've got a temple comparison. So we've got Solomon's temple and Herod's temple. So they've got a size comparison of Solomon's, Herod's, and then next to a football field again. So very clever of them to use a football field because pretty much anybody in America should know the size of a football field. So we've got a first century Galilean fishing boat and that gives us an example of a size next to a school bus, a delivery truck. Then it's got the little guys on there to give us a good idea on size as well. We've got a silver denarius here. So it gives us information on what that would look like. And it also has like what a coin would buy and everything on there. Plus it shows us an example of the size of it. Like if you had one in your hand. So I think that is really clever the way that they did that. We're going to have all the parables of Jesus in a nice chart. We're going to have Jerusalem. So this is really neat the way that they did that. So this Bible is worth getting just for all of the artwork alone. So we've got the coins of the Gospels. So it gives us, you know, the silver denarius, the half shekels, and the shekel, and then gives us an idea of the size. But I think that is just really, really neat the way that they show those. And we've got Herod's temple, another size comparison on there. A synagogue at Capernaum. So it gives a top view and then kind of shows how it would look and you can kind of get a size just based on the people that they show in there. We've got another synagogue here. Then we've got the Pontius Pilate's inscription. So if you've never seen this, definitely either do a Google search on it or punch that into YouTube. There are videos on that, so that's pretty neat. We're going to have a chart on all the miracles of Jesus. And we've got the Sanhedrin here, so it shows where the high priest would be, where the accused was, and then the 35 members. We've got a judgment seat in Jerusalem. And this is just some of the stuff in here. I mean, it was hard to choose what to show because there's just so much. 
we've got a nice chart on all the miracles in Acts. And Acts is just such an awesome book. So this would be Mars Hill in Athens. So I think that is really neat. So we've got Paul down there so you can kind of see. And then they've got the stairway cut into the rock, which is still in use today. So I think that is fascinating. And we've got the Temple of Artemis. And then it kind of shows you how big the statue would have been. Again, we've got it next to a football field. And they've got a little guy on there. So that statue was really big. This one's going to be the theater in Ephesus. So the size comparison that they used on this, this is pretty cool. So they compared it next to Wrigley Field. So we've got the like the seating capacity and everything like that on there. So I think that is just super, super cool. We've got a little map of Rome in Paul's day. And we've got another word study. So there's tons of the word studies scattered throughout this. And there's a lot of notes in here. And we've got a chart on all the resurrection appearances of Jesus. So it'll give you the witnesses, the site, the time, and the reference. So I thought that was a good word to study right there. So I'll just hold that. You can pause and read that one. Then we've got a little person profile there on Timothy. So we've got... Uh, a prison in Rome there and it shows how they would have been lowered through the a hole in the floor. Once you pick one of these up you're not going to want to put it down. So this is a really neat chart, Angels in the Bible. So it says who they appear to, the name of the angel, and then it gives us the reference. So that's really neat. These are super cool charts. So these are going to be four views of Revelation. So tons and tons of awesome charts. This is another really neat one. So this is views of the millennium. So it gives you the four different views. Which just lots of interesting stuff in this one. We're going to have the table of weights and measures. Then we're going to get into our concordance. So this concordance right here contains 2,474 words with more than 10,000 scripture references. So a very good concordance. It's very readable. So we've got a double column format. The words there are done in bold. So nice and easy to read. It's a 100 page concordance. So Lots of great information there. And then we get into our maps. What's nice is the maps are done on just a Bible paper, so it's not a thick, shiny cardstock. So for those of you who prefer it on Bible paper, you're going to like these maps. Really clear, easy to read. I like the different colors that they used in them. And we're going to have 14 maps. Plus there's tons of maps throughout the Bible as well. And then we just get right to the back of the Bible. But just an awesome, awesome Bible. Once, I, once you pick it up, you're just not going to want to put it down. So I would definitely recommend getting one of these. Whether or not you get the NIV or if you get a New King James, it's definitely worth getting one. So this one is the NIV Faith Life Illustrated Study Bible. Yeah, just the contents in this are amazing. There's the ISBN number. So what I'll do is I will link this one in the description box, and then I will also link one of the New King James ones in the description box as well. But definitely worth getting one of these. You will absolutely love it. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.